up, all my dorks, nerds, geeks, and gamers. It's your host, Ghost, here, and you're watching a brand new episode of Dorks in Movie Minute. Uh, today I'm going to be discussing and reviewing Jackass Forever. Um, I'm a huge Jackass fan, i got to say, right off the, gat, or right off the gate. Um, I, I've seen Jackass 1, Jackass 2, Jackass 3, Jackass 2.5, 3.5, Bad Grandpa, uh, Bad Grandpa Point Five. I've seen Wild Boys, I've seen Viva La Bam, I've seen um, Bam's Unholy Union, I've seen... Uh, everything, every single thing you can think of. Home Wreckers with Ryan Dunn on MTV. I've seen all their spin-off shows. Um, I know these guys like the back of my hand. Like they could be very close friends if we ever met in real life or something like that. Uh, so that's kind of how I see this franchise as a fan of this franchise. Uh, so once again, to hear that they were coming back for a fourth film, um, I thought they, like everyone else, I thought maybe they're a little bit too old and maybe they, their bodies couldn't handle this kind of stunt work. Uh, but no, I was actually 100% wrong. Uh, the movie is. I gotta say, phenomenal. It is a, a I'm gonna say right off the bat, my score. It is a 10 out of 10 comedy movie for sure, 100%. Um, even if you are not a true Jackass fan, you're gonna find some sort of stunt in this movie that will make you laugh. Um, and I'm not just talking about a little, you know, a little giggle here or there. No, I'm talking a full-on, uh, heavy belly laugh that's gonna be hurting after about 10 minutes from you laughing. Uh, but that's how it was for me. Uh, I saw it with two other friends. We went and saw the movie. Um, we sat down, and as soon as we sat down and saw that intro go, uh, from the intro all the way to the final stunt, the finale stunt, uh, we were laughing the whole time. And there's, there was not just one thing. There was one thing after another, after another, after another, after another. Uh, so very hilarious movie. Uh, we have the original cast returning. You got Johnny Knoxville, Chris Pontius, Steve-O, Wee Man, um, Preston Lacey, um, and anyone else I can think of that I haven't named. Jeff Tremaine's back as the director. Uh, Spike Jones is back as the producer. Uh, you got Cossack still behind the camera, um, still barfing on everything. Uh, very hilarious stuff, I'm, I'm telling you guys. Uh, Rab himself is in there as well. He's working behind the scenes. Uh, not only do you have the older cast members, but you also have the newer cast members as well. You got Rachel Wolfson, the only female jackass member on the crew, who does an amazing job licking a taser about three times and getting scorpions stung all over her face or, or jaw and everything else. Uh, then you have Jasper, who comes from Loiter Squad from Adult Swim, uh, still produced by Nick House Productions. Uh, so if you guys didn't know that as well, Jasper is now officially a member of the Jackass crew because he was always kind of the craziest member of the Loiter Squad, uh, besides Tyler, the creator, who does show up as well in this movie as well in a cameo role. Uh, but then we got uh, Poopies, who is an amazing surfer, and on top of that, he's very funny, and he adds a whole lot to the crew uh, personality-wise. Reminds me of a Chris Pontius kind of 2.0 sort of thing, uh, where, he's, where he's very hilarious on the jokes, but yet he still keeps all the guys together. And then you have Zach, who is like a Preston Lacey, but more willing to do the dangerous stunts. Uh, he's a bigger dude, but he's willing to throw his body into just about any sort of danger uh, that he sees fit to make people laugh. Uh, so yeah, they work out really well with the old cast, and they, they mesh well, really together, really well together. And you don't feel this hazing, you don't feel this um, this hatred towards each other or anything like that. It just feels like all support from both sides of the crew. Um, and on top of that, like I said, you also have these cameo guest stars. You have Machine Gun Kelly. You got Rob Deerdick in here, who is another member we've always wanted to see kind of interact with the Jackass crew, but it never happened in the previous movies. But this one it did. Um, on top of that, you got Eric Andre, who is kind of like Rob Deerdick, where they're in the same boat, where it was something, it was someone we kind of all wanted to see interact with the Jackass crew, but they never got the chance to until now. Um, and it, it works really well. They play off each other really well, and it's, it's everything they do together is funny, like everything. Uh, I definitely really, really enjoyed this movie. I thought the stunts were <clears throat> brutal enough uh, to keep you attached. Uh, but it was still like worth watching in a, in a theatrical format. It wasn't something you, like you were watching a TV stunt and you kind of could tell the difference between TV and movie. Uh, but no, these were full-on gnarly stunts uh, that a lot of them did. And at the age they did, so a lot of the times they were getting uh, hit a lot harder and they were staying down a lot longer than they normally would have. Uh, but I think that added a little bit more suspense and a bit more realism to the franchise that it was been, that's been missing for a while. Uh, because they've just been kind of glancing over these blowing shots that these guys have been taking for years now. And now that we're taking a minute to really focus on the pain and, and their bodies breaking down and everything else, that I think it really helps to sell the stunt work that they are actually doing and are all the things that they are doing to stay out of harm's way, uh, even though they are pushing their bodies in that direction. Uh, so yeah, that's the way I saw it. I definitely enjoyed this 100%. A 10 out of 10 comedy movie from me. 
Um, I really hope we get to see a Jackass 5 and 6. That would be amazing. If not, just a 5 with the new cast members coming back and maybe the older guys can take a seat back um, and kind of be behind the camera a bit more. Like Knoxville can kind of be director, take kind of Jeff's spot, and maybe we'll see what happens in that, in that sort of situation. Uh, but that's what I hope to see from the franchise. I don't know if we'll actually get there or not, but that's something I hope to see from uh, the Jackass franchise in the future with Paramount behind them still and still making the movies. Uh, so I do hope that this is a start of a new fresh trilogy, uh, or, or if not, I hope that this is the last ride that the guys always wanted us to have uh, before they end up going their separate ways with their bodies breaking down the way they are due to age and whatnot, stuff like that. Uh, but that's just my thoughts and opinions, guys. Let me know down below what you guys thought of Jackass 4. If you guys have seen it down below in the theaters, let me know down below. Like, subscribe, or share to these videos. And as always, keep it right here on Dorkston. I hope you guys enjoy this episode of Dorkston Movie Minute. And until next time, adios.